Yeah. 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 All right. Shalom. 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 All right, first and foremost, when we get started, we'll give our honor and our hand power to Yahweh yeah. by Shem Yahweh by Shem Yahweh. Once they double honor to our elders. I got a possible great millstone on GMX, who rule well and teach well, being a great example to Israel. The right man, the elect, will say peace and blessings to the hope of the elect on the four corners for the truth and sincerity. I write that great song on the GMX Memphis count. I just come with a little live lesson. You know, through the spirit and power of you, how about Shemar Shah? Just touching on what if. You know, what if we have to be put in a certain situation? For the name of Yahweh by Shema Shah. All right, as it stated, when you sign on the dotted line, it said, Prepare thy soul for temptation, when thy what? Come to serve the Lord. Mm -hmm. So we enter into, all right, this labor, this labor of love, but it's coming with suffering. You know what I'm saying? Come with the suffering. You know, this is the, the condition of the battle, all right, to receive that glory, to be joint heirs. All right, with our big brother, Yahweh Shah, man, our redeemer, when he returned to the devil, the elect, all right, and destroyed two-thirds of the heathens, man. You know, we want to be in that glory. As I said, those, shall, those that suffer with him shall reign with him also. You know, so what if, you know, you be put into the certain, you know what I'm saying, errors, all right, in the time of Jacob trouble, is you going to keep the faith? Or you going to fall like a lawn child? You know, because we understand through prophecy, it's going to come to pass. You know, the hour of temptation is going to go for the whole world. You know, so here it is. Action is going to be in a place of speaking louder than words. You know, you got to go out. Hey, this is uh, Ecclesiasticus. I just like that. Lord, what if y'all brothers just be edified? You know, I let loud down, man. Done. Done. This is Ecclesiasticus 4. And in 28, it says, Strive for the truth unto death, and the Lord shall fight for thee. Yeah, you speak all the time. Yeah, we, we have to strive strive for the truth unto death, man. We have to strive unto the end, man, and going into that word strive. You look that word up real quick. Basically going into uh, uh, fighting, man. All right, so this this thing isn't, isn't uh, you know, something you can just walk through or breeze through. You know, relaxed and, and, and comfortable. No, you got to fight, man. You have to have your uh, uh, mindset uh, single. You know, you have to have your uh, eyes single, man. Okay? You got it? Uh, this is the word strive in the online uh, Miriam Webster dictionary, and it goes into to devote serious effort or See? energy. See? Devote serious effort or energy, man. Yep. And you devote serious effort or energy. To the truth unto death, man. If if it comes to that, you know, because like the brother lesson going into what if, man? What if you have to lose your life, man? Yep. All right. Yo, this this is our life. This is all we got. We don't have a life here in Babylon, man. Okay. So this this is the the, the focal point of our uh of our mindsets. Okay. In this in this truth, is to is to solely what please the Please the Heavenly Father here. How about Shema Shah, man? Was it more on that or was that yeah. it? Yeah, kind of, I get some more. It says uh, a little bit more on the word uh, strive in the online Merriam Webster dictionary, and it also goes into uh, to struggle in opposition, contend. See? You contending. Yep. Contending, man, which is a uh, it's a fight, man. It's a battle. Okay? It what it says, uh, uh, the opposition. Yep. Okay, opposing, opposing forces, man. These these uh, demonic spirits out here, which which come against Jake, man, that uh, give you those doubts, 
you know, the, the thing, you know, we were just speaking on it, man, those uh, uh, damn doubt demons, you I know, you know. get hit with that. Yeah. It's like, man, you got you to gotta have more faith, man. That's why, hey, you, you, uh, let me check this title again. You added it. Keep the faith. Yeah. You're going to probably have to redo it. Got an R in there. But yeah. Oh, okay. <laughs> Jay talking fast. Yeah. But yeah, man. keep the faith, man. Yeah. We gotta uh, strive for the truth and to death and keep the faith. That's 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 gonna be your test, man, is endurance, man. Enduring until the end, like the scripture has said. Yeah. So you got it, bro. Yeah, and just a little bit more. Okay. Uh, come on, come on. you know, just going into their word continuing, because it goes into an online mer- uh an online entomology dictionary in mid fifteenth century. Strive after mentally. Yeah. Yeah, they just tapping into the spirit. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? It's that strive mentally, man. So being occupied and processing, yep. you know, that deal with it. You know, our mental, man. You know, uh, because that's what, <clears throat> when you think about <clears throat> Jacob Trouble, most, you know, you know, brothers like the players come from what? The mind. Yeah. Yep. You know what I'm saying? It come from the mind. So that's what we have to be strong in, in what? In the faith. Yep. You know, them doubt, like I said, them doubt demons. Yeah. Well, we, we got the cheat code. You know, we we were brute Satan. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? The name when you have by Shema Shah. You know what I'm saying? And keep pushing towards the mark. Yep. You know, because look, we gotta remember, what if we put in these certain situations? The scripture said everything written aforetime was written by our learning. Written by learning. So we got examples that were set before us, and that's the way we follow. What did it Isaiah? We we'll say, uh, uh, uh see, is it seek the whole path and walk there in it. Six and sixteen. Yeah, okay. you know what I'm saying. So yeah. we we got examples from our forefathers, even the the prime example, Yahweh Shah. Yep. You know what I'm saying. His walk. You know, so things that said before us, we we through the spirit know how to overcome it, but we overcome it by faith. Yeah. You know, that's how we're gonna, you know what I'm saying, conquer that what if by faith, man. Go ahead, dog. Cause this is Jeremiah chapter 30 and verse 7. It reads, At last, for that day is great, so that none is like it. Right, so we all finna be put to the test. We finna go through some, some things that we never went through, we never experienced. Yep. You know what I'm saying? And a lot of men's faith gonna be broken. Yep. A lot of women's faith gonna be broken. You know, because they're gonna be put through, you know what I'm saying, certain situation that they're gonna follow weak. Instead yeah. of lying on the spirit of your high by Shema shot to take force and take hold. That's right. And bro. bring you out of that situation. <laughs> yeah. mm-hmm. You know, and, and a lot of reason why is because they don't have patience. Yeah. Oh. You, you know what I'm saying? Because patience is the key. Mm-hmm. When you're dealing with the Lord, he said a thousand years in one day. Yeah. So you can't never say the Lord ain't on time because you'll never see him a thousand years to be one day with the Lord like he ain't come this same day. You know? So a lot of people, uh, 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 faith gonna be broken, man. You know, due to a lack of patience. You know, a lack of faith. But go ahead. Uh, yeah, real quick. Go yeah, ahead, real quick. This is uh, Sirach two and fourteen. It says, "Woe unto you that have lost patience." Right. See, discretion unto you. You know, the door of the Lord said, uh, "Will I find faith upon the earth?" When he called, you know what I'm saying? Because a lot of people, when, when, when it comes down to the afflictions and the persecution, a lot of people are going to want to hide and duck and run. Mm-hmm. But that's why it's written in uh, uh, second Ezra, the second chapter, uh, verse what, what, 41. It said, but those that still so stiffly, yep. for the name of your house by Shema Shah, who, who them men is going to be? You know, they're still stiffly for the name of the Lord. You know, they're going to be the ones that they, they give up, they sell out, and then be in a break of fold. You know? Go, go ahead, I. It says, and what will ye do when the Lord shall visit you? Right. You're going to be caught with your pants down. Mm-hmm. What you going to do then? Yeah. In that time of visitation, man, you're going to be, you're going to be left in a, in a pitiful place, man, because you haven't been, what, uh, 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 Building up their spirit to, you know, have your faith where it needs to be in those right. days. Like a lot of these, I'm thinking of a lot of these other groups, man. You know, that are out here, man, playing games, 
okay, uh, uh, you know, telling that congregation there ain't gonna be no Jacob trouble. Mm -hmm. All right, uh, uh, taking the uh, the, the uh, Sabbath and having sex on the you know yeah, Sabbath yeah. days. All right, uh, uh, here it is the Passover. They treat it as if it's a a, 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 a goddamn party. Out of the club. Yeah, 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 yeah. So hey. You know, when it's time to lock in and all these things happen, and all these troubles come about, Jake, Jake gonna be through. He ain't, he ain't in the spirit. You gonna react carnally. Yeah. You know, yeah. when things start happening and going wrong, man, you gonna you gonna go right to the flesh. You gonna lean upon what you've been, you know, uh, uh, putting your your energy into. Yeah. You know. Yeah. Yeah. Well, uh, yeah. Let's keep going. Cause this is Jeremiah thirty and verse seven. It says, at last, for that day is great, so that none is like it. Yeah. It is even the time of Jacob's trouble, but he shall be saved out of it. But he shall be saved out of it, meaning the elect, man. Yep. The Lord's elect is going to be saved out of these times, man, out of these troubles. Because of what? Because of that extreme faith, man. Because of, uh, the Lord is going to put the spirit on them to what? To pray unto him, man, and call upon him. Yep. And continue to believe and 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 endure, you know. Have faith that the Lord is gonna, you know, get us through whatever we have to go through, man. Yeah. Cause hey, we understand, man. Bad times are coming, man. Shit is bad now, but it's about to get worse. Okay. We're seeing all type of things going on right now in the earth, man. Okay. We got oh uh uh, uh those Palestinians. And uh, uh, Israel, those Israelis, those uh, Amalekites, they going at it. Hell, uh, uh, Russia and, and Ukraine, they still going at it. On top of, uh, 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 who was that Edomite that pretty much, uh, I think it was someone in, um, in Israel that basically said, you know, we're the problem. The, the black American, uh, uh, black male in America, they're the issue, man, in the earth. So this word that she's saying that because what that we're waking up, man. This truth is out. Alright? And that's a problem for, for the, these elites, man, and these Edomites that know the truth, man. They know that time is, is, is running short. That's it. Yep. So hey, like the brother lesson is going into what if, man? What if you put in the operation in Jacob's trouble, man, when you have to you have to uh, uh, utilize the spirit. You you haven't eaten in two or three days, man. What you gonna do? You gonna fold? You gonna lose patience? Right. You, you know. Gonna, you gonna go down there and stick the stick your hand out? Right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I, I gotta eat. But babies ain't ate. We, we gotta yeah. do something. But you, but, but you gotta remember, you gotta apply the scriptures. It said, "Man shall not live by bread alone, by what every word." Yeah. Oh, uh, Isaiah thirty-three and six, man. Wisdom and knowledge. Yeah. That's gonna keep us stable, knowing knowing this truth, man. Knowing that hey, hey, this is this is what is written, man. This is already written, and the Lord has uh, uh, has the script already written out for the elect to win, man. And then like like a nigga said, a nigga said this, man, uh, on the video that the brother had, one of the elders had posted. He was like, um, my my church can't eat no books. You know what I'm saying? Eddie Woman had, uh, I think Eddie Woman did that lesson on that. My ch he, nigga said that my children can't eat no books. They're going to try. But JT, but, they're going to try to but, eat but, books. Eddie Woman, like, said, even if they had the books to eat, you know what I'm saying? Because it, it's going to be a, 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 a real deal bad time for the children of Israel, man. Damn. You know, cannibalism is going to be coming back. You know what I'm saying? So. When you think about it, when he said that my children ain't gonna, uh, can't eat no books, but through the knowledge and understanding, you're going to be able to eat because the spirit going to be guiding you. See, what you're missing is the spiritual connection. You know what I'm saying? So while you out here, you roaming freely, the spirit not guiding you to where food at or where water at or where substance at. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? He, he going to have your ass like he had Israel <laughs> circling yeah. in the wilderness. You know what I'm saying? He gonna have y'all just circling as he did who Esau. Yeah. Remember he did Esau like that when Jacob and he uh when Jacob had got the birthright. Remember Jacob already had the uh yeah, little so cold. He yeah. already had Jacob <laughs> fixed up. You know what yeah, I'm saying yeah, with the food. Yeah, yeah. But Esau out there sweating and shit in the field mm -hmm. trying to hunt. He can't find shit. You know. So the, but the Lord was 
we're dealing with Jacob and the Lord gonna be dealing with the elect, man. Yep. You know what I'm saying? Two thirds gonna be shit out of luck. But here it is this the preparation. They're gonna prevent you from poor performance, all right, receiving the knowledge with your understanding. Yep. Which is gonna be the stability of that times, man. Yep. It starts now. Yeah. Now is the time to start preparing your mind for 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 what if, man. There, there you go. For yeah. what if? What if you in this situation? And your mind ain't prepared, you gonna fucking fold, man. It, it's, a, it's a saying in the world. Pray for the best. Uh, no, hope, 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 hope for the best. Yeah, pray for, pray the for the worst. Yep. You know what I'm saying? So you're gonna hope for the best and pray for the worst, meaning what? You're gonna prep yourself. All right, so what if I have to be put in a situation? I, I'm like, look, if I get if I get put in a situation that I gotta fight two, three, four dudes, what I have I not been practicing? Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Come on, bro. Hey, the scripture said, Lord, gonna teach you God hands the war, but Jake gonna have to, you know, you, you, you it ain't gonna just come out of nowhere. You gotta have something kind of going into that. You gotta be prepped. In yeah, some you, gotta way. Build, you gotta build yourself up. Build so yourself up to it. Doing push ups every now and then. Right. You know what I'm saying? You, you shadow boxing. Box, you know what I'm yeah. saying? You, you enter certain things. You enter certain things that get you prepared for the battle that we're gonna have to face. Fasting. So why we're gonna have to man. face that battle of, of, of the famine. Man. We're gonna have to face that. Man. But through practice through famine, you know what I'm saying? I mean, uh, through fasting, we're able to abstain and you know we're able to uh to deal with it more. Right. You know what I'm saying? We're able to go without you know eating yeah. for a certain period of time. Why? Because we have been practicing fasting. Yeah. Uh -huh. That's a big one, bro. You know what I'm saying? That, that's that's one thing I remember uh in the book of Judith. You remember they cut off that supply of food okay. and water. There you go. And that man, and you best believe Esau, man, he know Jake love to eat, man. A lot of, lot of uh, Babylonians, a lot of Americans, man, they can't go shit a few hours without eating. Uh -huh. Lesson on 24. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Yep. Go ahead. Because I was, uh, did y'all get that Revelation 2 and 10? Yeah. Nope. Get uh, that Revelation 2 and 10. Because this is Revelation chapter 2 and verse 10. It reads, Fear none of those things which thou shalt little... suffer. Behold, the devil shall cast some of you into prison. Right, and that devil going to the deceiver, the false accuser, which is Esau Edom, the so-called white man. He the one got the power to throw into prison. And that prison also going to the concentration camps. All right? Because, like I say, it's persecution. All right? And nothing new in the sun. It's going to happen all over again, man. As then I get this uh, this, this saying from El Kazaka, Mississippi. All right, we live in the book of Acts all over again. All right, because when you go into the, the beginning of the book of Acts, hey, the apostle was persecuted for the name of Yahweh by Shemal Shah. Even B, to not speak in the name of Yahweh by Shemal Shah. You know, and guess what? We enter into them time. You know, we see these false flaggers, man. All right, the agents, the rockatories, yeah. all right, just, just popping up out the woodwork. Understand the redeeming of time, bro, because it's evil and it is time, bro. All right, we almost at the, we almost home. You know? Well, go ahead. All right. uh, go ahead with that slide. <coughs> <coughs> yeah, finishing up. It says in uh, Revelation chapter 2 and verse 10, it says, Fear none of those things which thou shalt suffer. Behold, the devil shall cast some of you into prison, that ye may be tried, and ye shall have tribulation ten days. Right, you see that? Because here it is, we're going to be tried for what? That's known as the what? The hour of temptation. But that ten days go to the time of completion. You don't know how long the Heavenly Father will have you, you know what I'm saying, in that situation. Mm -hmm. But it said, what remain faithful unto death. You see that? We got to be faithful, man. Because it's written in John, the 17th chapter, is no greater love. All right, then the man let his life down for his brethren. Mm -hmm. You know that? And here it is. This is our reasonable service to make this sacrifice, man. Did I agree on that in Romans, the 12th chapter? That we make our body a living sacrifice? Yep. There's no greater love than, than be the honor as Yahweh Shah have done for us. We do for him. Yep. And, 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 and the brothers. Oh, hey, scripture say our life is not ours anyway, man. It's hey, we were bought with a price. Yeah. 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 Hey, we were bought with a price. So you just you just pretty much paying off a debt, man. That's it. Hey, you, you think 
I always think uh, of, uh, you know, having a mindset of thinking like, man, I'm not taking this body in the kingdom any fucking way. Man. Right. So if I have to lose it, you know, it is what it is. You know? Yeah. If, if, if I have to give up the spirit, man, as long, long as it's in the name of the Heavenly Father, how about Shema Oshah, man, it is what it is, man. Yeah. I pray the Lord keep that spirit on me. Yeah. Because guess what? It's going to happen. That's why I really, really uh, it started top again. And what I'm going to say? Cause it says in uh, Revelation 2 and verse 10, it says, Spirit, none of those things. Right, Spirit, none of those things. So the Lord really telling you, hey, I understand what I'm saying. You know what I'm saying? I got you. Mm -hmm. You know? Remember, he is a shield to them that put their trust in him. You know what I'm talking about? So the Lord said, Spirit, none of those things. For what? Thou shalt suffer. Go ahead. Yep, and it says... And it says, Fear none of those things which thou shalt suffer. Behold, the devil shall cast some of So you. Esau going to put some of us in concentration camps and these prisons. Go ahead. Yep, and it says, um, and it says, Behold, the devil shall cast some of you into prison that ye may be tried, and ye shall have tribulation ten days. Be thy faithful unto death. So the Lord said, Be faithful unto death. So you got you to gotta put this, you know how you got the little fill pocket in your jeans? You know what I'm saying? You, you put something there, you're going to say, you'll never lose that. It's always managed to stay there in your field pocket. So, then when yeah. you, then when you, hey, it said be faithful to death. Keep that in your field pocket. You know what I'm saying? You're going to need that in a time of trouble. You know what I'm saying? You're going to need to apply that. You know, mm -hmm. tell yourself, hey, yeah, yeah, be faithful to death. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. And what your house shot going to do, though? It says, it says, uh, be faithful unto death, and I will give thee a crown of life. It says, mm. They go back to what you said. I'll give him a head. Cyrus 428. He's traveling the truth with the devil. Yeah, you know what? I'm telling you, yeah. man. You know? But you got to believe this. You know, like Jesus had this song. You got to believe. Yeah, you got to believe. Like, you got to believe. <laughs> like, it's a saying in the, in the uh, well, back in the world when I was in the Christian church, <laughs> you take one step. The Lord's gonna take two. <laughs> <laughs> hey, you gotta, hey, that's real though. Like, yeah. man, you gotta, you gotta take your step, and the Lord gonna, you know, he gonna, right. he gonna help you, man. That's right, that's right. So it ain't you. We not alone, man, in this battle. It's, it's not a, a, a thing where you all by yourself, even though it may seem that way. Right. That's the reason why we always push. You have to uh, build up your own <coughs> personal relationship with you. How about Shema? Shout out with the Lord. So that you know, all right, hey, the Lord got me through this. He got me through that. You know, he's with me, man. I I may not can't see him physically, but I know he's here. And there's been times, you know, I done prayed and things of that sort, man. And I know brother probably can speak too, man. I felt chills and just uh, felt like a presence yeah. there with me. Hey, 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 the Lord with us, man. Go ahead, keep going, keep going. Yep, the Lord is with us, man. But uh, I got this. Uh, was you done, bro? Cut. That was good. All right, this is um, this is Luke twenty one yeah. and fourteen. Yeah, because this when when you when you think about uh, Chief Ephraim and the position he playing now, hey, it, this this is coming. You know what I'm saying? So like my my, my saying is proper preparation for being poor performance. See a uh, uh, a lot of uh, men, all right, that that, that that teach this truth in the name of Yahweh Shah is going to go through this, man. You know, but the Lord has given us comfort. You know, by just by reading this comfort us, then guess what? We have hope that he's going to deliver us as the scripture has said. I'm going to start it up, bro. Yeah, yeah go ahead. Yeah. I think it's like 12. Right? Yeah, yeah, I'm going to start like at 12. Yeah, go ahead. It's no, no, love. start. Matter of fact, start at, start at 10. All right, this is uh, Luke 21 and 10. It says, Then said he unto them, Nation shall rise against nation, and kingdom against kingdom. It's, it's not that's going on. See, that's what I was speaking on earlier in my lesson. You have a shot has spoken these things, and now we seem to be in manifest. Yep. Nation is rising against nation right now. Kingdom and kingdom is, 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 is speaking of war, you know what I'm saying? A clashing between one another. You know, Israel and Palestine. Yeah. They got Russia got a bag them yeah, up. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? The China going to sit they bro, it's going down. Yeah. 
You know, the U.S. sending the troops over there. Mm -hmm. You know, the Lord has spoken this. And guess what? We're seeing the actual being played out, man, right now in these times. Remember, the kingdom of heaven is at hand. You see the phone chime on that. The kingdom of heaven is at hand, man. Go ahead, Doc. It says, a great and great earthquakes shall be in diverse places right? and famines and pestilence and fearful sights. And right, and that's, and that's coming. All right, the death and famine. That's second is the 16th chapter. You know, that's that's coming. Go ahead. And fearful sight, sights, and right, great and signs. The, 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 the chariots. Yeah. You know. Yeah, because that's that's something that's a fearful thing to most. Right. Who who who, who thinks that's uh aliens or UFOs, un unidentified flying objects. Right. That's a fearful sight. It says uh in Jeremiah the tenth chapter, man. Uh, uh, oh, yeah, 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 too. <laughs> what, what yeah, saying, uh, uh, the the heater shall be dismayed. Right, the heater time. shall be dismayed. That's yeah. it, bro. That's right. right. It says, um, and great signs shall there be from heaven. You see that? Great signs. The chariots is, is a great sign. And we almost, hey, we almost done, yeah, man. Out of here. You know? Hey, we, every time we see one, you know, that car, I watch your mouth shot, man. Shot, yeah. You know, brother, just be skating through, you know? Go ahead. It says, but before all these, they shall lay their hands on you and persecute you. Right, you see that? Because here it is. See, Esau, he not slick. But the scriptures say, we not ignorant to say the vices. See, we right. know what Satan doing. We know how he set the Israelite camps up yeah. and caused chaos. And then he going to put the order out. Mm -hmm. Like, nigga, you know what I'm saying? Got them saying the name. Mm -hmm. You know, they starting shit, starting fights. Yeah, you know. Agent provocateurs everywhere. Then you got, then you had, how you all see, uh, trying to Fighting do all the, uh, the, the uh, camp banging and going yeah. to all these churches. And they went down, the churches had went down to the, to the, to the, to the, uh, to the courthouse and, and, and filed their little lawsuit or whatever on, on, on how you all see. See, all they going to tie into, all right, y'all can't speak no more in the corners. Mm -hmm. But family, the word. You know what I'm saying? All this time to it. This is prophecy. And, and and a lot of these guys, man, try to play dumb. Y'all know exactly what the fuck you doing, man. You know exactly what you're doing, yeah. man. You you working with the enemy. Yep. Yeah. All right, but hey, the scriptures say you can do nothing against the truth before. But what you? Because guess what? You helping you helping the Lord out because the prophecy is being fulfilled. So yeah, we gonna get snatched up. Some of us, not all of us. You know what I'm saying? But guess what? What the Lord keep on going on that out. It says, loop. it says, and persecute you, right? Delivering you up to the synagogues and to the prisons. See that? Going back to that concentration camp, you know, because the synagogue is the chief house of Satan. So we know we're going to be brought up before the elites, the banking families, the rulers of this world. Go ahead. Then brought before kings and rulers for my name's sake. You see that for the name of who? Yahweh by Shem. I was shot. Not Christ. Big ass gun up to your head. You know what was that name you was calling them? Yeah. You said what? Yeah, yeah, yeah. nigga calling on on Christ. Right. Nigga, he ain't being brought for that. No. Nah. The name of Yahweh by Shem. I was shot, man. Yep. You got something real quick? Yeah, real Go quick. Ahead. This is 2 Timothy 3 and verse 12. Yeah, it says, on, Yeah, and all that will live godly in Yahweh Shah Mashiach, it says, shall suffer persecution. See, we're going to suffer. But, but remember, the scriptures say, Um yourself likewise with the same mind. As much as Yahweh Shah suffer, what? We're going to suffer also. <laughs> yeah. But the prize is, us suffering with the Lord, we're going to also reign with the Lord. Yeah. Yeah. You see that? that yeah. That's the kick right there. You know? Mm -hmm. But a lot of people have been deceived to want it on this side. Mm -hmm. is where you received your consolation. The thing is, what's it like, bro? We're going to keep you know? going on there. You received your consolation, yeah. and you got to call them a damn fool. Yeah. For that, but, hey, the water is them, not us, you know? Yeah. Go ahead, Doc. In verse 13. Luke 21 and verse 13 says, And it shall turn to you for a testimony. See, it's going to be our testimony. You know, it's great deliverance. You know what I'm saying? These miracles that the Lord, you know, uh, pull. You know, you got to think about it. Uh, uh, 
I think that's Battle of the Dragon with Daniel. Mm-hmm. You can grab that. It's in, it's in the pocket for the Battle of the Dragon. Uh, uh, might be like, I want to say 17, something like that. Because Daniel said, Oh Lord, thou hast not forsaken me. You know what I'm saying? He came through. He came through for Daniel, man. As he had sent half of to, 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 to Babylon where Daniel was in the lion's den. Oh, I'll say oh, okay, here we go, here we go. We, we getting close. Uh, it's, a, it's a lot, it's a lot, Jesus. Uh, there you go, go ahead, third A. Yeah. See, you know what I'm saying? See, this, 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 this was a testimony for Daniel. Go ahead, I. Cause I'm starting at uh, verse 37. It says in uh, it says in Baal, Baal and the dragon. Hey, look, and, and remember, Daniel was put in the lion's den. Now, so what if you have to be put in in a situation like this? <clears throat> you know, is you gonna keep the faith like Daniel did? You know, go ahead, I. Yep, it says in Baal. Bell in the dragon, chapter 1, in verse 37, it says, And Habakkuk cried, saying, O Daniel, Daniel, take the dinner which Yahabashim el have sent thee. Right, because that's going into, you know, uh, like the family of the word, so to speak, because here it is, when David was in the lion, then he wasn't he, he went able to eat. So the Lord had Habakkuk, which he made him appear in a den, in a den where Daniel was, uh, when you read up on that chapter, it's, it's, a, it's a cold chapter, all right? But the, the thing is, the Lord never forsook Daniel. The Lord came through and delivered Daniel. And then what he going to do to his prophets now? Yep. You know, the same thing. Remember, everything written the fourth time went by our learning. So guess what? We put in these situations, guess what? Our faith. You see? Go ahead with that. You got to hear what Daniel said, man. Hey, I'll give my man because it just made me think of a precept. Well, I think it's in Job where it says, "In famine, he will keep them alive." Yeah, 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 yeah. 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 Yeah, it says in Baal and the Dragon, chapter one, verse thirty-seven, and it says, "And Habakkuk cried, saying, Oh, Daniel, Daniel, take the dinner which which Yahweh sent thee. I mean, have sent thee." Verse thirty-eight, and Daniel said, "Thou hast remembered me, O Yahweh Shai." You see. You see. Go ahead. Neither has thou forsaken them. That seek thee and love thee. You see that? Uh, that's that's uh Sirach too. Uh, look at generation. Oh yeah, that's one of your favorite John. Yeah. yeah. Was any ever forsaken? Did that's any right. ever call upon the Lord and was forsaken? That's man. it. So if you call upon the Lord in truth and sincerity, you are gonna be good, that's man. Right, bro. You gotta have faith and believe that and know. Yeah. Man, there's been times I can I can I can speak for myself, and I know these brothers too. I heard testimony from our brothers man but you know you in the uh uh just just use a simple example as a cop pull you over you know you, you pray to the lord man lord deliver you out of that man uh-huh. you know what i'm saying just you know and, and and agreeing with that just using the using the scriptures using what we have man you know using what the lord left us that's right man hey <laughs> and looking looking at the generations of old we we yeah. good, bro. We ain't we ain't got nothing to worry about, man. We just gotta keep fighting, man. Strive. Yeah. Continue to believe and have faith. That's right. We're we gonna overcome. Yeah, finish on the loop and then we uh, need to ask. All right. Hey, <laughs> nigga Martin Luther King, we shall overcome. Right, right. <laughs> we shall overcome. <laughs> hey, this is a uh, loop. What was that? For uh loop twenty one and fourteen. Uh, it says, settle it therefore in your hearts, when your minds are alive, not to meditate before what ye shall answer. Right, so don't be in the don't think in the flesh. Don't be corner minded. Right. You know what I'm saying? Cor- corner minded when you are uh, placed in a lower condition, you know, in the test of your faith. That's basically what they're saying. Don't be corner minded. Because you're gonna be trying to think of a way to escape. You know, what, what, what lie can you come up with? 
Right. Try to bamboozle them, trick mm -hmm. them and shit. No. All right. Understand the task. You know? Go ahead. It says, for I will give you a mouth and wisdom. So the Lord is going to, the Lord going to uh, move your spirit to do what you do and say what you say. Mm -hmm. Go ahead. I will give you a mouth and wisdom which all your adversaries shall not be able to gainsay nor resist. Yeah, and the Lord had done it like that before. <clears throat> you know, I put in a situation, bro, that I knew I could have been mad. You know what I'm saying? Mugging them and shit. But then all of a sudden, like, you know what I'm saying? My spirit changed. And I, I was calm. I was angry. And I was, yes, sir, no, sir, applying. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? But then what, what, what got me out of that jam? Hey, I was well, in man, a couple situations time. where the Lord, like, put that calm spirit on you. Yeah. And just pray through things while it's pretty much hell going on, chaos around you, but you praying. You that's right. locked into the spirit. That's know? right, bro. You know, that's real, man. Lord, Lord will put his spirit on you to, yeah. <laughs> you know what I mean, to, to, to go with the flow. Man, it's been, it's been some times, bro, I know it wasn't me. Right. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, I'm yeah, like, I'm I said, this is the Lord, man. This ain't me. Because I'm, I'm more of a, uh, you know, I, I kind of get amped a little bit. You know right. what I'm saying? Jake could get, you know, jump started. You scared, boy? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't know. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, yeah, we hear that. Okay, it's a lot. Right. Yeah, but, um,. Yeah, Jake will get, you know what I'm saying, a little little bit, you know, amped up in the spirit. But, like, you know, it would be certain times where it's like, you know, uh, my normal spirit would be to get amped. But it's like, I'm cool. Yeah. And that's, hey, that's that's the script. That's the scripture coming up. Coming up yeah, because you got to think about when you have a shot with uh, Brown in the face and punch a pilot. He was cool. He was chill. He hit him with the scriptures of his side. Like, you know, he cut he was cutting that yeah, he was cutting them. You know, they put people like, Don't you know I got the right to put yeah. you to death? I can't. I can like, do this. Yeah, no, that was saying, bro. He like telling her, like, bro, you can't do nothing unless my father right, you know, right. say, allow you to do it. You know what I'm yeah. saying? Yeah. He was cutting them with the, you know, with the truth. Yeah. You know? Go go ahead, though. It says, and ye shall be betrayed both by parents and brethren. And kids, folks, and friends, and some of you shall they cause to be put to death. So can you can you accept that? Man, your own a lot parents. of people love they they a lot of people love Man. Mom Deuce. Man, boy. I, I love Mom Deuce. You know what I'm saying? I, I love my, my dad and my, my, my brother, my sister. Man. You know, I don't fuck with them like that. I'm in the truth, but mm -hmm. you know, is you is you really to willing to accept that? They're gonna be you know as in mama now. Baby, I told you to leave that coat alone. You know what I'm saying? The pastor been praying for you. We've been, we done tried to get you back in the church. Get you back in the church. In Jesus' name, I pray. You like, oh man. <laughs> you just like, all right. Hey, you got, you got, you got us. <laughs> you got just all stick your hand like, come on, take me eat some eat. Mind no mind that guy. <laughs> she. She she done sold me out, man. Yeah, I'm talking about sold you out. You yeah. know? Is you can you burn it? You know, these are the times that we coming into, man. These is the affliction, all right, for the crown, man. <coughs> That's why I say he does good to the end, the same shall be saved. You gotta be able to endure these things, man. So what if you put in these situations? What you gonna do? You know? Because it's only two choices. Really one. All right, if you're going to serve the Lord or you're going to serve man. Yep. Go ahead, Ock, with the Acts. Because this is Acts chapter 5 and verse 40, and it says, and it says unto him, and it says unto him, they agreed, and when they had called the apostles and beaten them, they commanded that they should not speak in the name of Yahweh Shai. You see that? They was beaten, man, because they was, they, no, that's what the name doing. He, right now, they, they, they don't like the name Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh man. Why? Because his name is a strong tower. Mm -hmm. right? When you call upon that name, things happen. Yeah. You know, if I can be blunt, 
Shit moves, man. Yep. All right? You call upon the Lord, man, he makes shit happen. All right? You can feel the vibration, and you can know that you can, tell, you can see the difference between when you were calling on Jesus in the world, and you call upon your high by Shema Shai, the spirit of truth. Mm -hmm. you, can, you, you can see the difference, man. You know? So they want that name, what, out. And they and they using who? <laughs> Within. Yeah. You know, they setting up all our people. Mm -hmm. That's why I say the leaders of our people called mm -hmm. them to the earth. Yeah. These niggas being set up and used by Esau. Well, guess what? Hand join the hand, my boy. You're gonna mm -hmm. suffer the same death as Esau. Yeah. Mm -hmm. You know, all you niggas, man. All right, selling out, man, for the bad. Lord gonna slap the shit out you, man. Go ahead, uh. Yep, and it says, and beating them, they commanded that they should not speak in the name of, of Yahweh Shai. And it's and that is a key point in here too that you got to understand. Go ahead. Uh huh. And it says, and let them go. It says in verse forty one, and they departed <coughs> from the presence of the council, rejoicing. You see that? Mm -hmm. Why would they? Why were they rejoicing after they just got beaten? You know what I'm saying? That don't sound right, dude. They probably been upset. You know, man, we got here talking about, you know what I'm saying, you know what I'm saying, we really got beat. Mm -hmm. You see, that's a Babylonian mindset right there. You know what I'm saying? They didn't, they, by you not understanding this, you don't understand what you're involved in. But they did, they understood. Because the Lord had told them. Mm -hmm. You know? Yeah. So they rejoiced because the word was, the word was known as what? Faith and truth. Go ahead, Doc. Yep, and it says in verse 41, and they departed from the presence of the council, rejoicing, rejoicing. that they it says uh it says rejoicing that they were counted worthy to suffer shame for his name. You see that? They was counted worthy to suffer the shame for his name, man. Time is coming, we're gonna have to be what? Be shown worthy to suffer all right, the shame for the name we have by Shemal Shah. It's gonna come with the, the oohs and the ahs and the dams and the, you know what I'm saying? Wise. Yeah. But we got to remain faithful. You see? They outside looking in. Yeah. You see, they don't see what we see because they have not been given the spirit. They have not been given the eyes to see and the urge to hear. Yeah. But they have been given unto us and that's what we have to what? We have to keep it. You know, that's why I said keep my sayings. You know? Oh, you got something out real quick? Uh, I got Sarah. this Sarah Yeah, yeah. They're going to read it real quick. This is Rock 4 and 21. It says, For there is a shame that bringeth sin, and there is a shame which is glory. You see that? So it's a shame that bringeth sin, which is two thirds going to be under. But it's a shame that what turned to glory, which is what us being persecuted. You know what I'm saying? For righteousness sake. That's why it's known that what that is, uh, what that is. It's just first Peter's is better to suffer for righteous, uh, well doing than evil doing. You see? I ain't going to be turned to glory, man. All right? When, when Yahweh Shai come back for that throne. Yep. That's, that's what, uh, Romans 8, man. If you suffer with him, you yeah, also reign. Yeah, reign rain with him. Yeah. So you got to be, you know, uh, also that's in a uh, proper that said before, uh, honor is humility. Yeah, for real. So you have to, uh, you, you got to be willing to humble yourself, man, in order to, yeah. you know, ultimately reach that, that, that level of, of fame and glory, man. And right. Jake, Jake want to get that right now on this side, man. You know, Jake want the, 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 uh, uh, the accolades. He want to, you know, get all the likes. You know, mm -hmm. on, on the videos, he want all the women. He don't give a damn, man. <laughs> well, uh, uh, every, everything with a head wrap. Uh, head, head, head wrap, I want it. You know, he want everything man, right. right now. And it's not the time, man. It's, it's not how the Lord set it up, man. Yeah, because I got to remember, everything in this in this time is temporary. Yep. It's not forever. This shit going to burn along with Babylon. So why try to invest in this life? 
You know, you want to invest in in, in, in the time to come. That's why I said store your treasures up in heaven. Yeah. <clears throat> you know, your spiritual bank account. You know? But uh go ahead with that. Uh, it says in first Peter three and verse seventeen. Yeah, it it yeah. says, uh, for it is better. Uh, I'm reading again. This is 1 Peter chapter 3 and verse 17. For it is better if the will of Yahweh shall be so that ye suffer for well doing than for evil doing. Right. You see that? You suffer for well doing. That's what we're doing now. Yeah. All right. We suffer for well doing because here it is. Like, it's, uh, that's the rock too. Uh, though the hope of the wise. No, that's, uh, that's second address. That's second address. Yeah. You know? But we we going to see the why, man. We're going to see the kingdom of heaven, Lord willing, we continue in the faith. You know, but guess what? <laughs> we both suffering. Mm -hmm. We both catching hell. But our catching hell is going to go going return it to us as a reward of, of salvation. Right. Your 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 hell is going to return for your reward <coughs> as in what being destroyed. Mm -hmm. You know? Uh, uh, eat my foot up your ass. Right, the scriptures say uh, uh, whether whether they they uh, damn I'm thinking of it is uh, uh, basically rough to paraphrase and say you're gonna get a reward whether it be good or whether it be evil. Yeah, we getting a good reward, Lord willing. We endure. That's right. Yeah, I believe right. it's in Colossians. Yep, you got some. Uh, uh, second Ezra chapter seven and verse eighteen. It says, nevertheless, the righteous shall suffer straight things. And hope for why? Right, you see that? So we hope for what salvation? We hope for the kingdom. That was that why it is. Yep. But we suffer now, right? Mm -hmm. All right, go ahead. And it says, and it says, for they that have done wickedly have suffered, suffered the straight things, and yet shall not see the why. But they're not going to see salvation. Mm -hmm. You see that? You got it. Yeah, that was it. Huh? Yeah, that's pretty far. Yeah. Yeah, it, go ahead, go ahead. This is uh Revelations 20. Now, like I say, the title is what if? Because this right here, this is this is coming back. Uh no, Apostle Gabar had did a lesson on it a while back, uh bringing in the guillotine. You know what I'm saying? The guillotine is gonna be brought back, man. All right, as it's a skirt tactic. All right, for those, all right, that believe in the name of Yahweh by Shema Shah. All right, you're going to get beheaded for the name of Yahweh Shemel Shai. So this is, all right, John the Revelator, he saw this vision. All right, go ahead with that. Revelation 20 and 4, and I saw thrones, and they sat upon them, and judgment was given unto them, and I saw the souls of them that were beheaded. Right, so he saw the souls of them that which were beheaded, meaning what? Future prophecy. All right, this is gonna to come to pass, man. Men is gonna be modest for what? For the truth. Not all, but guess what? Prepare yourself, right? Well, Remember, proper preparation for event for performance, along with faith. So, you might not have to go through these things, but it's best to prep yourself. You know what I'm saying? While you got liberty, while you still have time, because what? What if you do have to go through these things? Is you prepared? Do you got your mind right? You see, you able to walk. You know, you able to keep the faith. You see, go ahead. Good. It says, and I saw the souls of them that were beheaded for the witness of Yahweh Shai, and for the word of the Most High, and which, <clears throat> which had not worshipped the beast, neither his image, neither had received his mark upon their foreheads or in their hands. And they lived and reigned with Hamashiach a thousand years. You see that those same one that was suffer for his name's sake. You see? The same one, which is who the elect in the one third that was written before the foundation of the earth, man. All right, go ahead, Doc. Uh, Check Ezra. Yeah, second Ezra. Come on, this is second Ezra chapter 16. And uh, verse 40. And then you can do 65. It says, uh, okay. It says, Oh, my people, hear my word, make you ready to thy battle. 
and in those evils be even as pilgrims upon the earth. Yeah, then that, that, that's going to tell. We we might have to be dwelling upon the land like uh, the Book of Eli. Mm -hmm. You know how Denzel was. He, he was just roaming. You know, but according to prophecy, the Lord going to take her those man, his servants. Yeah. You know, we going to uh, we, we brought up you know First Kings. All right, uh, Elijah, when he when the Spirit moved him to go into the brooks, yeah. all right, and the raven fed him, and the Spirit told him go and dwell, and he'll find a woman, and the woman gonna feed him, give him, you know, that comfort. You see, what do we do? Have to be in that position. We gotta rely, rely on what on the Spirit, <clears throat> you know, because the Lord is a man that he should not lie, and this is written. You can read it though. I, this is written, man. I, uh, Isaiah. This is Isaiah 65 and 13. It says, Therefore, thus saith the Lord, Power, behold, my servants shall eat, but ye shall be hungry. Behold, my servants shall drink, but ye shall be thirsty. Mm -hmm. Behold, my servants shall rejoice, but ye shall be ashamed. There you go. You see that? When he said, His servant, who are his servants? All right, though, they're still stiffening. Mm -hmm. That's the Lord's servant, the elect. Mm -hmm. All right? They the ones that are going to be eating and drinking. That's why I say a man should be a hiding place. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? They're the ones that going to be prospering. Not that bullshit that Christianity that prospering. Why everything is still good. How the fuck mm -hmm. you prospering now? Mm -hmm. You're only prospering what? Bad times, hard times. All right, the scripture speaks about how we're gonna still be good. You say how to uh how they they should envy thee. Mm -hmm. But can't do nothing to us about it. The Lord, the Lord, hey, the Lord ain't gonna allow them to touch us, man. But they're gonna be they gonna be wanted to. Just like right now. He saw the, them looks he give us uh at camp. Yeah, the spikes and shit. <laughs> smile, he's mm -hmm. fucking teeth gritting. You know, the sending the witches down there. We were saying the witch last week. Uh -huh. These fake ass smile. Yeah, they want to do something to us. They want to try to, you know, uh, uh, harm us. But hey, the Lord got the heads around. He can't do shit, man. You can't do shit. <laughs> you subject into prophecy, man. Yeah. You know, yeah. you can't do nothing until the Lord uh, uh, open that, open it up, and, and, uh -huh. and try us, man. That's it. That's try it. our faith. That's it. Outside of that, man, you, you, you. Through, man. Yeah. He gonna fuck up. Yeah, but that's it on there, though. One more? Yeah, that was it on there. Oh, okay. Uh, so, hey, Lord willing, I say y'all brothers and sisters be edified. All right, the next time we'll give all honor and glory and power to. I want to say double honor to our elders, the peace of blessed and hope elect. Next time, Shalom. Shalom. Baba Ball. 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 Baba